just reading my comments and I got ran across Rich's comment about feeling the fear that he feels from women uh, because when they're around him just because he's a man even though he hasn't done anything now in your case rich yeah I'd have to whoops hold on my dog's trying to escape yes my dog's trying to escape he's, he's trying to escape and run away understand this place where she can't go okay sorry about that guys she just doesn't understand a place where she can't go outside and just run and go where she wants to go it's just weird for her anyway yeah rich in your case uh i i sorry about that dude but i was talking to jeremy t today yesterday i don't know you know you guys know me in time and I was running back, and this is what I'll do. I'll have these same aha moments that I did with my NDE. I'll have them with this physical thing. And I did know that there are like four previous attempts to get uh, the humanoid being into the lower densities and to go deeper. And there were six failures. On this last round, the reason why they succeeded is because they realized that the they were not um, they were not dampening down the feminine aspect enough so in order to get to the lower densities which was what was requested that's what was required that's what the long-term humans wanted to experience that's where the creator wanted to go in this time and space moment in order to get that done they tried all kinds of things uh, in the other civilizations the ones you know about are Lemuria and, and Atlantis, but they didn't get it done. And um, so over long, long time, much longer than anyone knows, the and them trying many, many different things and then trying more things and more things, what they figured out is that they were going to have to um, subjugate, dampen, remove as much as possible or shackle as much as possible the feminine energies anka come here yeah we got it i know they're there thank you uh <laughs> that guy and his dog turned around went the other way she has such a big voice she just doesn't know how scary she is um she wants to play you can tell by the wagging tail behind me. <laughs> so basically, I was talking to Jeremy about some things, and I realized <clears throat> he saw the energy of money and that it was everywhere. Okay, the energy of money, to me, money is a shackle on the energy um, behind the money, which I think some people might call abundance, although I think that's not really a good word either. But money shackles that because everybody thinks well you've got to have money to get the abundance to get the stuff and I've heard this before Abraham Hicks has said that you don't really want the money you don't want the numbers in the computer you don't want the piles of green paper you want what the money buys you so if you, you understand that that's a shackle to the energy if you look around you in nature things get exactly what they want you could too but in your mind you've got it okay I've got it get a job and I've got to get the money to pay for the things that's a shackle of that energy getting to you now I don't even have that figured out even after the the uh, ayahuasca I don't have I, I know what is causing the problem for me I just don't know how to remove it it's it's pretty thick um, who knows I may figure that out before it's all done with but I've got other things I'm more interested in however to me the energy that people call money or the energy that's being shackled by the money uh, is very feminine and of course Gaia is very feminine and so in order to take this planet and all of these gods down to the lowest densities the feminine energy had to be controlled severely severely so the shackle of money was put on the energy that goes to everything here, of course, so that you believe and stay in fear that you aren't going to have enough money to get the things that you need, let alone the things that you want. You see what they did? Um, then, of course, Gaia was controlled in oh so many ways. 
um, all of the magical creatures were made fun of so you could, people couldn't connect to them. And a lot of them were made into monsters. So people were scared of them, uh, as you well know. And then the monotheistic religions, they uh, and the bankers and the monotheistic religions pretty much wiped out the feminine right about the same time. Because money took over the feminine energies that feed the planet. Uh, the monotheistic religions got rid of the earth uh, magics that connected to Gaia, which pretty much cut off that feminine energy. But that was necessary in order to get to the lower third dimensions. Now, Rich, everybody, every guy, when you feel that fear that's coming from women, you can get angry at it, and uh, you certainly have every right to get frustrated and angry and respond any way you want. But it is advantageous to bring up the energies is if you send love, that you send, I'm not like that. I don't care if they respond positively to you. We have felt those energies that are dangerous masculine for generations. It is ingrained in these human bodies, these female human bodies. It is like a bird flies away from a cat. It is instinct for us because we are cut off from the feminine energies. Okay, so like uh, Michelle's a great example. She's very in touch with the feminine energies because she is very in touch with Gaia. She's very in touch with physical. She's very in touch with magical creatures. That just feeds all that feminine energy. <clears throat> Most women don't have that. They're cut off, they're alone, and they feel in danger most of the time because uh, men run everything and men are stronger than they are so it's not uh, sent out directly at a certain guy it's it's just set out in just in general like a bird all birds will fly away from harm it's very much the same thing so don't take it personally what I would love for you guys to do that have not done anything wrong is when a woman says to them to you I've been hurt, I'm scared. Instead of going, well, why are you mad at me? I didn't do it. Uh, I would love to see you embrace that woman, not physically, unless, of course, you can, and say, I feel bad about that. I'm sorry about that. Uh, if they don't understand why it was created, then don't go there with them. Just send them love. Just let them see there's one man on the planet that's not a danger to them. It will help more than you can imagine. When you become defensive, that just makes you on their side to most women. So if you go, oh, well, I didn't do it. Well, what do you think the bad guys say? They all say that to us. Every single one say, well, I haven't done it. Well, well, that couldn't be true, now could it? Since every man I've ever met has done incredible harm to me. So there's going to take some convincing. And I'm sorry about that, that you good guys are not easily identifiable from the bad guys but the bad guys are very very good at playing like they're good guys they're very good at it uh, trust me they're very good at it so when a good guy comes up and a bad guy that's playing like a good guy coming comes up how are we supposed to tell the difference okay so be a little bit patient let's remove the judgment and send some love to the females all of you starseed guys Instead of being defensive, try to understand that, as we will have to understand, it was, it was agreed upon. We knew about it before we got here, women and men. And as we come out of it, women knew that they were going to be stepping in to, you know, having those feminine energies being very, very controlled, very, very attacked. We knew that when we got here. Now, guys, you're going to have to understand that there's a process in balancing that feminine and masculine energy as we go up to 5D. If you are upset about it, it'll make it much harder to balance those in those that you see around you, on the planet, and in yourself. So understand that the game was the game. Everybody knew how it was going to be. We knew what it was going to be when we got here. Male and female. Okay? That's kind of the way it rolls. But it doesn't really matter. That was the game. It is just a game. Now the question is, how do we get out of it? That's the question. Well, running over the past isn't going to do anybody any good. 
So the women will have to look around and find men that are not dangerous and really try to focus on them, try to send energy, that's what I want, so they go to collectives where more men are like that. And men, you need to not see that negative response from women. You need to find a woman that does not look at you like that, see a world with more women like that, go to the collective where there's more women like that, and eventually, eventually, 5D, nobody's scared of anybody. Nobody's mad at anybody. Nobody's defensive of anybody. Nobody's frustrated with anybody. Okay? Well, hopefully that helps without setting off a flurry of angry men attacking me for going after men that didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> okay, guys, I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.